Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we're going to be solving another menstruation question and this is from the year May June 2020 paper 2 variant 2. Although I have a full solution of this paper, uh, it's on my channel, you can check it out. But in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on the question that's related to menstruation. So this I would say is a fairly difficult question because there are a lot of things to watch out for. There are a lot of uh, there's you know there are a lot of catches in this question. So let's let's get straight to it. So it says a birthday cake is in the shape of a cylinder. There are two layers of cake and one layer of icing. Each layer of cake has radius 10 centimeter and height 3 centimeter. Okay, the icing between the two layers of cake has radius 10 centimeter and height 12 millimeter. So the first catch here is that we have lengths that are in two different units. So the first thing that I should do over here is that uh, it's best since the height is already in centimeter, so it's best that I convert the height in centimeter also. So 12 millimeter is basically equal to 1.2 centimeter. Remember that one centimeter is basically equal to 10 millimeters. Okay, now part A says calculate the volume of icing in the birthday cake. Okay, so at this point, here's what I want to do. I'm going to read the question again. Okay, so this time I'm going to be more focused and I'm going to try and underline or highlight whatever I think is important. All right, so birthday cake is in the shape of a cylinder. All right, so let's highlight the word cylinder. There are two layers of cake and one layer of icing. So this right here and this right here. In fact, these two are uh, layers of cake. So in fact, let's just let's just highlight the icing. So this right here is the icing that the question is talking about. Okay, now uh, the next part says each layer of cake has radius 10 centimeter and height 3 centimeter. All right, uh, the icing between the two layers of cake has radius 10 centimeter and height 12 millimeter. Calculate the volume of icing. So what you and I need to work out is just the volume of icing. Okay, now. So that means if you want to work out the volume of icing, so the icing is also in the form of a cylinder with radius 10 centimeter and height 1.2 centimeter. Okay, so volume of a cylinder, as we know, is equal to pi r square h. So the volume here is going to be pi 10 square times h, which is going to be equal to 1.2. Now remember, we're just talking about the icing, all right? So let's work this out. We're going to need a calculator for this. So pi times 100. Sorry, times, yeah, 10 squared or 100, whatever you wish to do it as, times 1.2. So that gives us 120 pi. So I'll write 120 pi here first. And then this turns out to be 376.99, which when rounded up like to three significant figure, turns out to be 377 centimeters squared. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the unit anymore. All right, so that was the first part, part A. All right, now we come to the next part, which is part B. Now let's see what part B says. Part B says the top and curved surface of the birthday cake are now covered with chocolate calculate the area of the birthday cake that is covered with chocolate okay so let's go back to the question the question says the top and the curved surface so at this point i should highlight what i think is important so the top of course very important and the curved surface of the birthday cake are now covered with chocolate calculate the area of the birthday cake that is covered with chocolate okay so since it's just the top and the curved surface so what exactly what shape exactly are we talking about here we're talking about a cylinder so as far as the top is concerned the top of a cylinder is circular in shape so that means i'll just write circle over here okay which basically means that the area can be worked out by using pi r square okay we'll, we'll get to the values in a minute and then it talks about the curved surface so i'll just write curved so the curved surface is the curved surface area of a cylinder okay so that is basically equal to 2 pi r h if you know the total surface area uh, the formula for calculating the total surface area of a cylinder is basically 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r s. So the 2 pi r square takes into account the circle at the top and at the bottom. And that's why we have the 2. And 2 pi r h takes into account just the curved surface area. Okay, now, so pi r square. So that means just the top. So for the top, so it's like this right here. This right here, I'll just label it the top. So the radius here is 10. So pi times 10 squared so I'll keep it in terms of pi for now and then we'll work it out towards the end and then we're talking about the curved surface area now one thing you got to be careful is that when you're talking about the curved surface area so that means you got to take into account the entire height of the cake okay so that's going to be equal to 3 plus 3 plus 1.2 so I'll do it over here 3 plus 3 plus 1.2 so that's going to be equal to 6 6 plus 1.2 is 7.2 so remember the height of the cake is 7.2 centimeter so let's work this out 2 pi the radius is going to be 10 the height however like i said is 7.2 let's see if i can do this mentally 72 72 times 2 is 144 yeah so 144 pi okay so now if we sum them up so this becomes 244 pi so let's work this out 
244 times pi and you end up with 766.5 centimeter square since this is area of course so this rounded off when uh, correct to three significant figures will turn out to be 767 centimeters square all right so that's that that was part b let's move to part c okay now here's part c part c says anil has a slice of this chocolate cake okay the chocolate cake that we were talking about covered uh chocolate of this chocolate covered by the cake okay his slice is a prism of height 7.5 centimeter. The top of the cake is a sector of radius 10.3 and angle X. So you can see that the height is 7.5 and the radius of the sector is 10.3. Okay. The volume of this slice of his slice is 200 centimeter cube. Okay. So the shape that we're dealing with right now is a prism. Okay. So we need to keep that into, we need to take that into account. Now, the formula that I always use for calculating and I always teach also for calculating the volume of prism is as follows. The volume is equal to area of cross section times the length. Now this sparks a lot of debate that why is it length, why isn't it height. So basically length is the perpendicular distance between the two identical surfaces. Okay, so you can see that the cross section is a sector so that means the two identical faces that I just mentioned happen to be sectors and 7.5 is going to be the length of the prism or you can in this case you can say height but sometimes students tend to get confused uh, depending on the kind of question that we have so I like to stick to this formula only so length is basically the perpendicular distance across the two uh, identical and parallel surfaces that you have in a prism okay so what do we have we have the volume we don't have the area of cross section all right so that's a question mark and we do have the length okay which is 7.5 so it's just a matter of plugging in the values so 200 is equals to the volume and area of cross section since this is a sector so that means i need to apply the formula for area of sector so area of sector is basically x upon 360 multiplied by pi 10.3 squared theta upon 360 into pi r squared multiplied by the length which is 7.5 okay now it's just a matter of solving this so here's what i'm doing in my calculator okay 200 is going to get multiplied by 360 so this is what i'm looking at i'm looking at 72,000. okay and then all of this i'm going to divide by i'm going to say i'm going to divide 72,000 by all of this so that means pi into 10.3 squared into 7.5 all right so this i'm going to do exactly in my calculator so pi into 10.3 squared times 7.5 okay this if you do correctly you're going to get 28.8 and that's what the value of x is now remember all angles are given since x is an angle all angles are given correct to one decimal place so the value of x right here is 28.8 degrees so with this, we have solved the entire question. And as far as the difficulty level of this question goes, I think on a scale of one to 10, I'll probably give this an eight, 10 being the most difficult because I've seen questions way more difficult than this. And again, it just all boils down to how well you know the formulas and how uh, well you can apply those formulas, okay? So that's, that's all for this video. Let me know what other questions you guys want me to solve. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.